it's not in Atlanta. It's either BBL or natural, and the BBLs mm. is taking over. Over. Mm. I think it's just very crazy to me that how a woman could have a BBL and you guys will literally go pay for her bills, her rent, her mm-hmm. car note, her food, her groceries. But then you get a woman like me that's working, doing all this business by myself, for myself. I don't need you. I want you. And you telling me just to like hold it down, just wait. I Baby, you're not future. No, I'm not I waiting. Like, yes. I feel like men. I'm not really, waiting. Really want the more shallow women because the shallow women don't challenge them as much exactly. as women like me. You have women that are placeholders and you have women that are game changers. The placeholders in Atlanta, they make it hard for us game changers. I found this whole conversation interesting, especially because from the previous video I did about BBLs, I had a few commenters talking about how natural curvy women or natural women get overlooked and treated a certain way. And I found this video, which I think is a great way to address why females who are natural are being overlooked. Truth is, it has nothing to do with men wanting shallow females, or why they're paying BBL females bills. You know, they're paying for their coochie. Not marrying them, not building a family with them, they're paying for their coochie. I find a lot of females think just because you you have a natural appealing body, you're deserving of a man no matter what. You're deserving to have your, your, your bill paid. You're deserving to get a certain treatment. And everything mentioned in the video is nothing that a man is looking for either. They're comparing transactional dating to why men aren't taking them seriously. And somehow being an independent female who make their own money and they have natural curves and a natural body is an asset. Those things only get so far with men. What they don't seem to look at is, when a man is spending on you, it's because it's transactional. If you're not his girlfriend, if you're not his wife, it's all transactional. Now a man saying hold it down isn't a bad thing either, you're too concerned with money. And that's the problem with these females. If a man is choosing to spend time with you over spending money on you, that's a good sign but if a man is spending money on you more than his time well he's buying your time nothing good about that you have average females who look for men to do the same thing for them they probably seen escorts get females who sell their bodies for a check or bills to be paid so what the problem is they want men to spend money on them They want men to pay their bills. They want to attract rich guys, but fail to realize a lot of the females with BBLs are known escorts, are gold diggers, which is why they made their body to be more appropriate in that sense, because that's what they're selling. Question is, what are you looking for? Because it doesn't sound as if they're looking for a husband, but a sugar daddy, a man to pay their bills. Shallow females are just more upfront with offering intercourse, which is why they got BBL, to advertise their body. Meanwhile, natural females try to play the subtle chase me game. When you both want the same thing, you're no different. The only difference is with BBLs, females and natural curvaceous or appealing females is your approach. That's the only difference. You both want the same thing. When females go on about they only track a certain treatment, well, it's based off how you treat yourself, what you're looking for, and why. That is the real reason to everything that's happening, and the type of men you attract, and the treatment that you attract. It has nothing to do with your body, or your money, whatever else you tell yourself. I'm your hostess, Reminent Princess. These are my last thoughts. I find a lot of females who have curvaceous body or a natural peeling body, they get lost in the source. They somehow think that their body is now an asset because it's natural and think that men are deserving of them because of their natural asset. But really, It doesn't change who you are and how you present yourself and how you live your life. Those things still matters, but they never look at those things. Let me know 
what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.